I don't think there's a lot of research into it, as in I don't think there is a definite, you know, if you do this, you definitely won't get stress much. I don't think that's possible. I think probably you are given what you're dealt, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I think... I do believe that the more you moisturise them once you have them, the quicker they are to heal and hopefully the less severe they would be. Um, But I do think there are definitely family members, you know, there's a definite hierarchy of if your mum had stretch marks, you unfortunately possibly will have quite bad stretch marks or you will, you know, you'll follow the same kind of process. Um, But you can make them spring back hopefully quicker so what what happens is it is literally where that where you have rapid growth in your skin and essentially it's a scar really that builds up in your in your skin in the lining of your skin because it's been moved so so rapid or relatively rapidly um compared compared to where what you know other bits of your skin that stretch and um when you no longer have anything that's stretching it that scar becomes you know it doesn't go away because it's there, it's already happened, the skin's been broken, and so you just have a line where it essentially is a scar tissue. Um, the more you moisturise that, any scar, it helps. So any scar, if you help... Um, so moisturising not only gives it more fluid, but it also, just the movement of the scar itself helps it um, come back to... or not come back to normal, but helps the, the tension come back into the skin quicker. Um, and probably helps along with the healing process, a bit like walking off with a scar. It just has little pulls, uh, little pulls in the way the, the scar is there and it helps it heal quicker. Um, but I think, I think unfortunately, don't, don't, don't kick yourself apart if you feel you moisturised yourself to the hilt and you still get stretch marks. I don't think it's because you could have done more. I think it's just a genetic thing.